Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's your brother Vani, and it's today's vlog. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my uh, Padmini. So, most of you guys kept asking me what happened to my Padmini. Did I sell it? In fact, I didn't sell it. The car is right here. But the problem was, you know, being an old car, this car kept giving me issues and it still is giving me issues. So, uh, in today's vlog, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about how this car is and. Uh, you know how is it to living with this car in 2021 and uh, what are the problems that i'm facing and uh, right now it's in my friend's garage and uh, i had just come down for some couple of uh, touch-ups and painting so um, most of you guys if you guys are aware about padmini this car is known for its rusting issues so rust keeps coming up no matter how much you paint it you do get uh, you know rusting spots so right now the painting is done uh, you know the touch-up is done so there's no more rusting in it and uh, you know it's been almost three years that i haven't posted any video about this and i'm really sorry about that you guys kept on asking me for the video so the car is right here so it's still in the you know finishing stage it's in the garage as you guys can see uh so the car is almost done but not quite there so that's the interior right and uh, i'm not sure if the camera is able to catch this like it, it's got some polish applied to it so it needs to be wiped out it needs to be cleaned and in the rear seat oh <laughs> the rear seat is missing so that needs to be fixed too right so i just came to take the delivery of the car so right now uh, the painter is just cleaning the car and as i told you guys you know this car keeps giving me issues and as i park this car at home most of the time because i'm not using it every day i keep getting these rat bites and I have no idea what to do with the rat bites. If you guys have any ideas, please do comment below what to do because I, I did keep the tobacco leaves, I did keep the rat poisons, but didn't, you know, kind of didn't work. So it did shoot out all the, uh, you know, the electrical wires and all. So uh, that's my other seat. That's the rear seat. So if you guys can see here, so here the rat has shoot out this part. It's been shoot out all this part. So I still have the original uh, seat cover inside this so I had done an extra aftermarket uh, seat cover onto it so uh, I will discuss about uh, what's the cost of all the modifications or what is the painting cost overall expenses that I had to incur and all the stuff in this video but then uh, uh, you know this is what happens uh, when you have an old car so as he's cleaning the car and he's giving it a final touch I'll just talk to you guys about the car so uh, this car is this it belongs to my dad and uh, we this is our first family car so that's the reason i have this traditional value towards it and i want to keep it i want to retain it it's not that i bought it from somebody else and i've done it so it, this uh, has been in my family from 1988 so i was got home in this car right when i was born so i have a lot more emotional values towards this and uh, so many people asked me about the white walls so basically this is not the white wall tires these are the white wall inserts right so if you can see here so these are the inserts right so this i got it from uh, mumbai but unfortunately he is not dealing with it anymore i have a person who does it so i'll try it leaving his uh, number in the description below so if you guys want to buy a white wall inserts you guys can contact him and uh, yeah and the other mods that i've done for this car is basically this car was white in color so if you guys have watched my previous video in which i have described about the modifications or the customizations as you can say it uh to gone to it i you know getting the vehicle restored so the entire restoration process is in the description below so you guys can check that out and there's another video which crossed 50k views and i'm really happy about it and thank you for uh, you know support and guys i've got too many queries about uh, where do i get the past for these cars and uh, where do i source it from uh, well i'm lucky enough to have a store in bangalore so i'll have their uh, address as well in the description below so if you guys have a plan of you know getting a padmini and getting it done so you guys can contact these people man the most of the other parts were done in the same garage so i would have their contact number as well in the description and uh, i couldn't find the og uh, mirrors so i went with the maruti 800s uh, mirror so these are maruti 800s and uh, 
the most of the other parts were there intact with the car so i didn't have to source those but there were other issues so like i had to get these plates the ones which says pal on it so i had to get these so these i got from kolkata and uh inside the door handles i'm so sorry about the dog there's a rottweiler barking here all right so uh this is from another maruti 800 again so this doesn't come with the padmini so you guys might know it might not know it but then this is not the og part so i had to change this and uh what else have i changed inside let me just think yeah the seat cars as you can see it's been replaced it's not the original ones and uh, the worst part with this car is getting these bits you know the uh what do you call it as the rainwater drains uh so probably getting this was a tough thing for me this especially the glass beadings so all this took a lot more time for me so i got all these from uh, mumbai so most of you guys know that mumbai had great taxis running around uh, in padmini so i had to get those and yeah getting these as well the body lines uh, i'm not sure what do you call it as if you guys know what please do comment about i uh, i really don't know what do you call these as but then uh, getting these were also tough so uh, and transporting it all the way from other place to bangalore it did quite few things got bent so getting it was tough and if you can see here this is even bent even now so i i, I couldn't get another uh, you know a part for it uh what else yeah and getting these lights are easy these lights are pretty cheap so you can get those easily and badges you will definitely not get it so you have to you know try some uh, place where you get old parts uh yep so uh that's about the things that i've done to the car and this uh, color scheme i totally forgot the color name so it's almost bluish in shade so uh, i like to call it blue with white but then uh, this blue had some name in it so once i find out i would definitely put it in the description so you guys can know that as well uh the wiring is now fixed back so wiring is ready so now he is installing the rear seat so i thought though all right so seat is fixed so as you guys can see there is not much of room here right so uh, this back then could accommodate six right so me and my family we all could easily travel around but now that i have changed the seat cars it is actually taken up a lot more space here so i was thinking i would redo it and uh, once it is redone and uh, once i go back to the original spec i would have enough uh, space here in the room space i mean leg room as well right that's the interior and uh the dicky one sec i'll just open it oh gosh this is so tight yeah there you go so uh that's a bad spot i need to you know edit <laughs> that but then i've got gas fill shocks here just for some uh, latest touch and uh the uh, rims the stock rims this, these are the stock rims i've got it painted white in here and then the white wall comes in but i didn't i didn't get it for stepney i only got it for four tires and this is another uh, this is stepney so it doesn't come with the white walls right and uh one sec i'll just close this yeah i've tried to keep the car as original as possible and i've got the stock bumpers stock lights stock uh, tail lamp uh, what do you call it as the number plate license plate uh, lights or whatever it is okay i just realize there is a gap here so maybe i didn't lock oh it's not locked okay so i need to try that again okay i'm uh i told you right uh, so being an old car the locking and all is a little glitchy and it does give you uh, you know issues with it so the painter is cleaning the car so the car should be ready and uh the engine part one sec let me just check if oh it does open you know, this thing is a little yeah there you go okay so that's the engine so this basically locks up here okay so this is a, a petrol engine i forgot what's the cc about it and i'm not a technical guru here uh so it's still retaining the stock engine everything else is stock on it it's just the cosmetic changes that's the paint and i've got this two-tone paint job as you have already seen so it has a off-white kind of a thing so it has some flakes onto it but it's not visible on the phone i mean on the camera but then uh, 
it does have it and it still has the stock uh, mirrors windows everything is stock and the extra addition that my dad had done is the ac all right so this basically doesn't come with an ac so he did get an ac uh, upgraded and the steering wheel is changed and i've got it painted to white so that it matches the car and uh the mercedes amg's you know the clink sound sorry about that yep so the, the thud sound you know everybody brags about it in the mercedes g wagon so i do brag about it in my uh, padmini so the next uh, continuation would be me taking out the car and driving it around so stay tuned thanks guys